Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's here for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're gonna to talk about how to adjust the crimper rules on your disc head. So the first thing to do is we're gonna actually drop the pressure down. You can drop it down to 300 pounds or 400 pounds just so that you're not fighting the cylinder because this cylinder is putting pressure onto that, onto that roll bracket. You want a little bit of pressure so that it takes the slack up in everything. But so drop that down, lock the gauge. Then we're gonna get an inch and an eighth wrench. I know it's a stretch for a sales guy in a clean shirt to have an inch and an eighth wrench in his hand, but we're gonna grab that. So, so what we wanna do is we wanna loosen off the jam nut. I've done that already. And then we're gonna put our inch and an eighth wrench on and we're going to lower this down until your gauge touches. And basically what that's telling you is that your crimp rolls are, are touching together. Then we're gonna snug that up until we just start to see this lift off of the gauge. Now that may take a half or three quarters of a turn just to get tension on everything. Once we have that, then you're gonna take your wrench and you're gonna open it up until you get your, until your gap on your roll here is at a quarter of an inch, okay? We're gonna do that for both sides. Then you're gonna lock the jam nuts and you're gonna run the machine. If you, if you hear some clattering, you're gonna open that up about half a turn on that nut at a time until the clattering goes away. It, it's just a matter of there's an edge that a rock bumped or something that, that there's some metal to metal contact. Um, that will get you a really good start there. For, for issues where you have crop that's being shredded or you're trying to do green feed or something like that where you need some space an easy gauge is actually the flat of the wrench gives you about a half an inch so what you do is you you turn that nut until you can get the flat of the wrench in between the gauge and the bottom and then tighten your jam nuts up and then you're good to go hopefully that helps you out thanks for watching